Greeting space adventurers, as you just saw in the snapshots of the news articles, a giant city-sized comet is heading straight towards Earth and due to a volcanic eruption has just grown horns. Aptly nicknamed the Devil Comet, this cosmological event might inspire some fear over the possibility of the comet actually colliding with Earth and what that could mean for our planet. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's start off with the origin of the comet itself. The comet in question here is named 12P slash Pons Brooks, or simply Pons Brooks, a Halley-type periodic comet that was first officially discovered in 1812 by astronomer duo Jean-Louis Pons and William Robert Brooks at the Marseille Observatory. Although some Chinese and European sources state earlier dates of the comet's first observations around 1385 and 1457 respectively. Being one of the brightest known periodic comets with a relatively long orbital period of around 71 years and a size of around 34 kilometers, give or take 12 kilometers, the Pons Brooks Comet has something of a semi-mythical reputation in the astrophysics sphere, which is quite understandable, especially given its cryovolcanic nature. The last recorded observation of the 12P comet was in 1954, following which the Pons Brooks meteor shower occurred, passing as close as 18 million kilometers from Earth, an event which resulted in the possibility of the meteors impacting our planet's atmosphere at a staggering velocity of 45 kilometers a second, a number that exceeds the sun's escape velocity of 42.1 kilometers a second. While this meteor shower didn't actually end up impacting our planet, this close encounter highlights just how much potential danger celestial bodies like asteroids and comets could pose to our planet if they get too close. Now, after about 70 years, the 12P comet is back in the spotlight due to a massive volcanic eruption that has given the comet a horn-like appearance around its edges. The Pons Brook's peculiar behavior was first noticed on the 20th of July, 2023 when several astronomers detected a major outburst of gas and ice crystals from the comet, allowing it to reflect more sunlight and making it appear around 100 times brighter than normal. Then on the 26th of July, 2023, the Devil Comet was officially photographed by the Las Cumbres Observatory as part of the Falks Telescope Project. Like most comets, 12P's nucleus is composed of a mixture of ice, dust and gas, but unlike most comets, the gas and ice inside its nucleus often build up so much that the celestial object can violently explode, shooting out ice-cold cryomagma through large cracks in the irregularly shaped nucleus's shell, which can explain the horn-like appearance of the comet. This is the first time we have observed the comet's volcanic eruption in almost 70 years, primarily due to the fact that its orbit takes it too far away from Earth for us to observe its outbursts. You might be wondering, what does all this mean for us here on Earth? Well, first of all, let me reassure you that there is no danger of this comet hitting our planet anytime soon. According to research estimates, the closest it will approach our blue planet is 232 million kilometers on the 2nd of June, 2024, at which point it will be close enough to be visible in the night sky but still farther away from Earth than the Sun, which means there is no danger of it impacting Earth. And we will not have to worry about even seeing the comet again after that before 2095 at the earliest. Furthermore, let us also consider the fact that the first periodic comet humanity discovered, aptly named 1P slash Halley Comet, came significantly closer to Earth, around 4.94 million kilometers, in April 837, and did not crash on our home planet. However, let us hypothetically assume that Pons Brook's comet does crash on Earth. What will the actual impact of the phenomenon be? According to the Earth Impact Effects Program, a website that estimates the consequences of an impact on Earth based on various parameters, a comet like 12P would create a crater about 357 kilometers in diameter and release an energy equivalent to about 4 billion megatons of TNT. That's about 270 million times more powerful than the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. Enough to trigger the largest earthquake in history, with a magnitude of 12.0, and cover the entire planet's atmosphere with dust, 
blocking out the sun and leading to a potential ice age. In any case, humanity will not survive such an event, which is believed to occur once every 1.8 billion years. Of course, this is all just a hypothetical scenario, an estimate based on some assumptions and simplifications, and there are many uncertainties involved in predicting the outcome of an impact event. For example, the angle and speed of impact, the composition and structure of the comet and the target, and the location and time of impact would all affect the results. Also, the effects of an impact would depend on how prepared and resilient we are as a society, and how we would respond to such a crisis. But our species probably doesn't have to worry about such an event for tens of millions of years at the earliest. With all that said, the devil-horned comet heading for Earth is not something to be afraid of, but rather something to marvel at, as it is a rare opportunity to witness a spectacular natural phenomenon that reveals the dynamic nature of comets and their interactions with the Sun during our lifetime. It is also a reminder of the importance of studying these astrological objects and understanding their origins, evolution and potential hazards. Comets are not only fascinating celestial bodies, but also valuable sources of information about the history and formation of our own solar system and life on Earth. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more on some of the most fascinating stories in the world of cosmology and astronomy. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about this video and what other topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.